Hello everyone, this is Yvonne from Yvonne Ceramics. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to make a pie dish using GR Pottery Form. If you want to see more of my video, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. First, I'm going to put down the rim template, and then I'm going to put one stack on top of it. Then I'm going to put down my pre-rolled clay slab on top of the whole wooden slab. First, I'm going to use my rubber rib to compress the bottom of the pie dish. Compressing the bottom is important because it prevents any cracks later. Then I'm using a wet sponge to compress the clay onto the outline of the GR pottery form. After that, I'm using a foot maker tool to cut out the foot ring on the side of the clay. The clay that I'm using is called dragon fruit clay. It is very delicate and flimsy. So when I was cutting the foot, it breaks apart a little bit, but that's okay. You can just attach the foot in a few pieces. If your clay is very delicate like this, what I do is I press it down while I slowly drag the foot maker tool. After cutting the foot, I'm using a needle tool to draw out the outline where my foot is and then scoring and slipping the foot. It's important to use slip to attach the foot so that the foot doesn't fall off later. Because I make the foot with several short pieces, I need to make sure I'm using slip and clay to join the joining parts together really well. After the foot is on the plate, I'm using a wet sponge and my finger to join the foot to the plate. Now it's time to trim the rim. I'm using a slingshot tool to carefully go around the rim template to get that nice rim on the dish. I forgot to film this part where I've let the clay dry for half an hour and remove the rim template and the wooden slab. I've let this dish dry on the shelf to let the heart before I flipped it. The edges felt a bit sharp so I'm using a wet sponge to smooth out the edges and also the bottom of the plate. After bisque firing, I chose a simple white glaze for the dish. After glaze firing, of course I need to test out the pie dish by making a blueberry pie. I made the filling with fresh blueberries and then I roll out the dough. Here is my pie dish. Let's put the dough onto the pie dish. The pie dish is about 9 inches wide so it makes a very generous pie. Then I put in the fresh blueberry fillings. I'm using the rest of the dough to make strips for the top of the pie. If you're interested in this recipe, I'll put the link to the recipe on the description below. The final step before the oven is the egg wash on the top, and then it's time to put it in the oven. The oven was 450 degrees for about an hour, and here's the beautiful pie. What do you think? I think both the pie dish and the pie looks really good, and it cooks really well in the oven as well. Thank you everyone for watching. I hope to see you again next week.